Now let's take a look at our urinary system. Much like our liver filters out toxins and stuff like that, our urinary system is another means to filter out toxins and it also plays a significant role in balancing our body's fluid. So if we have too much water, it purges too much water. If we are dehydrated and need to maintain as much water as possible, it'll hang on to the water. The major organs that the urinary system contains in all patients are the kidneys, the ureter, bladder, and the urethra. Um, the prostate gland here is exclusive to males, and um, urethra length will vary depending on whether we are referring to a female patient or a male patient. Since um, female genitalia is mostly internal, their urethra tends to be shorter compared to males. The main functional unit of our urinary system anatomy is our kidney. This is the filter portion and it generates the urine that we go to the bathroom with and we remove from our body. So it retains salt, which leads to the retention of water. It can purge salt and therefore remove excess amounts of water. Um, it filters out a variety of other waste products. So when we take certain medications, um, some of them get processed at the liver or the level of the uh, kidneys and if we have damage to our kidneys they um, they don't filter very well and we run the risk of dealing with a lot of toxins floating around in our body they are also very vascular so if you happen to rupture a kidney um, you're going to lose you're going to lose a lot of blood in a short period of time and that's a very dangerous situation to have the ureter here is just a tube that um, transports the urine waste product into the bladder for storage um, getting ready for um, removal um, when if any of you or if you guys know someone who's ever experienced a kidney stone it, it's um, typically a calcium deposit that builds up in the kidney um, some people are just predisposed to um, building up calcium um, and when this stone moves along it kind of starts to plug up the um, ureter Sometimes the stone is small enough that it causes general discomfort and it will eventually pass. But some of them are so big that they kind of just lodge themselves and get stuck. And that's, that's very painful for um, these patients. Um, also, with um, the kidney stone, you, you, you'll experience some blood in your urine. Um, if, we, if you think of a rock outside, it's very rough and coarse on the surface. That's all a kidney stone is. It's just a calcium-based rock that's lodged in here. So it's gonna brush up against um, the kidney and the linings of the ureter, which causes that um, bleeding to occur. Then once the urine passes through the ureter, it goes into the bladder for storage. So um, it fills up to a certain amount, then that's when we have the uh, urge to go. 
our bladder can hold a lot. It's very, it's very good. It's a very flexible piece of muscle. Um, so it does take a reasonable amount of urine to build up in our bladder before we really have that urge to go. Um, as we get older, our tolerance for um, the amount of fluid in there goes down, and that's okay. Um, that just causes more frequent um, trips to the restroom when we're older. And again, natural part of aging. Then there's the urethra. Again, just another tube. Uh, so when you do have to go to the restroom, um, the urine will pass through and be released um, into the toilet. As I mentioned, um, males have a prostate gland that is in between the bladder and the um, urethra, the exit. The main function of this tissue is to provide secretions that um, help create semen during sexual reproduction. Another thing that this thing is really good at in older males is that it's a tissue that continues to grow. Again, you might know someone who is diagnosed with a condition known as BPH, which stands for benign prostatic hypertrophy. And this is when the prostate is growing, it's harmless growth, but it's clamping off this pathway between the bladder and the urethra to exit the body. And this results in urine retention, which can be very uncomfortable, especially when it starts to fill beyond um, what it normally tolerates. So those patients, they will have the urge to go but they cannot go because the prostate has um, clamped it off. There are medications that can help reduce the size of the prostate, and that's typically the first course of uh, treatment. Patients can also self-cath themselves, um, so sticking a tube up their um, urethra past the prostate in order to kind of drain it out. But the worst case scenario is that um, they surgically remove the prostate and that will resolve the problem. Um, you, you can live without a prostate. It's really no big deal. Um, and again, this is typically something that occurs when um, we're older and um, probably past the prime years of sexual reproduction. So another thing we have to think about, the um, urinary system controls the pH or the acidity of our blood. Um, and it filters out those wastes and controls that fluid balance.